is ESPN Classic. We had a lovely sunny morning here at Old Trafford. The feeling that the season really was getting going. Fine crowd. They closed the gates uh, after about an hour. And no doubt at all, of course, in the England camp about the size of the job. West Indies may have lost the World Cup final to India, but they remain undisputably the finest side in the world, both over the abbreviated and longer courses. Let's have a look at the two teams and look first of all at the West Indies. They're putting their faith, as usual, in a battery of pace. Marshall, Baptiste, Garner, Holding. They've left out their leading off spinner, uh, Roger Harper. And England have brought in Mike Gatting for the luckless Randall. They need a spare bowler. And they've also brought in the four men restored to the England squad. Andy Lloyd to open, Jeff Miller, David Bairstow and Derek Pringle. Bob Willis bowled a very good opening over. And then Ian Botham came into action from the other end. The score is five for no wicket. It's the fourth ball. Both of them to Desmond Haynes. And in trouble here. And great trouble there. And he's gone, run out. A tremendous start for England. And both of you can't keep the man out of the game. Slick turn. Haynes a long way from home, but uh, they're very accurate throw. Hit the wicket. And Desmond Haynes is gone. Well, that's a marvellous first early blow there for England. A little bit of good fortune possibly in it. But it always looked a fairly dicey run when they set off. It's a lovely shot. Turned beautifully off his legs. Perfect time, and it's racing through the mid-wicket for the first boundary of the morning. Perfect piece of timing there by Greenwich. Not hit with any great force. Oh, it is gone. Yes, caught behind. A little bit of movement, and this is a marvellous uh, start for England to get rid of both openers. Greenwich now following Haynes back into the pavilion with only 11 on the board. First wicket to both of them, and a delighted base to accepting that little outside edge. <coughs> That's a typical Richards effort. No need to run this time. A little flick of the right hand, and it races through mid-wicket for four. And a smile from both of them. He knows full well he should never bowl to Richards there. Oh, that's four more. <laughs> it was in the air, but uh, the placement was right. Clean short X from mid off. Never any danger of a catch. And the score suddenly rattles along when Richards arrives. see that in an international match in many a year one of the gentlest little pushes from Richie Richardson Bob Willis just calmly going forward clasping his right hand around it and another wicket down for the West Indies and there's that favorite shot and it split the two men behind square Fatal to bowl to Richards on the leg side. The strange thing about it is that almost invariably he gets it in the middle of the bat. Oh, well bowled. Now that, if you could go down your hands and knees and pray to be able to bowl the ideal delivery, that would be just about it. To have it drift into the left hand as pads, pitch on leg stump, and then I think it was probably the off bail or the outside of off stump. That would be a marvellous welcome for this man, and rightly so. Playing on what is his home ground in England. He's been a great player for Lancashire. A wonderful cricketer and captain for the West Indies. He's still going strong at an age where a lot of men have decided to leap out of international cricket. 
last one out. There he goes to this splendid piece of bowling from Jeff Miller. back there, this matter of the ball spinning or not. And got him giving chase, he'll cut it off all right, there will be two more to Richards, two more which takes him through to his half century. 51 on the board in the 22nd over, and the West Indies on 83 for four. And uh, a view of the match with four wickets down, he's got them remarkably quickly. And again, bowl leg stump. Swung away down to deep square leg, and he's holed out on the square leg boundary. Oh dear, oh dear. My Lloyd will be cross about that. But uh, very nicely taken. I didn't have to move a yard. a little dolly catch, first ball, panic stations. Well, quite an extraordinary over this. And Viv Richards and Clive Lloyd, I think, won't be very pleased with that first ball that uh, Dujon received. No sort of shot at all. A little dolly catch just round the corner. 98 for six in the 25th over. Richards then on 65. That didn't bounce very high, could have dragged it on. And that's a close call, and he's run out. Would you believe it? Marvellous piece of work there. I hope that Marshall goes. It really has been a disastrous morning for West Indies. Just uh, got a bottom edge onto that. Marshall set off. Richards wasn't convinced, told him to go back. He kept coming for an extra couple of yards. Disobeyed the great Richards, and in the end, paid for it. It's really all up to Richard. 65 out of 102. He faces Pringle. And just nudges that away fine. That's going to beat Bob Willis. No hope of cutting it off. He's dealt in boundaries here this morning as uh, with Richards. His placement as ever has been absolutely top class. And shot. No man out, and Pringle straying once again towards Lake Stump. Great depth in the batting lineup. West Indies. He uh, hits up to the ball, flicks up to it, and it went catchable height. Two here, Viv Richards. Andy Lloyd. At deep fine leg. 150 up, and now this is an entirely different story. It was 114 for seven. At lunch, now it's 150 for seven. Nathan. A oh, bowl. Beautiful leg cutter. First eight catches again. Both of them has done it. Coming on the bowl with 161 on the board, he's broken through, and that is absolutely vital for England's chances that that partnership should be broken. And he's appealing for the catch, and it's given. Yes, Garner goes court and bowl. Took it very low down. Not hit back with a tremendous amount of power, but one of those awkward ones, just an inch or so from the ground. 
and very well uh, picked up by Neil Foster to give him his uh, first wicket of the innings. 166 for nine. Richards then on 98. They're looking for the hundred, are they going to make it? No. So Richards is there on 99, but uh, happily for West Indies, he's got the strike. No problem, a single anywhere he wants it, and that he decided was once again on the leg side. He's made it into four, which takes him on to 103. And what a great innings this has been. 103 out of 173. With wickets tumbling all around him. He's only received 112 balls. 12 fours in it. And the seventh time he's made 100 in limited over cricket. hoisted away beautiful shot again right amazing the strength of this man on the left side just seemed to flick that over the midwicket boundary for six and it's a very long carry today down to the uh, pavilion steps and that shot again Absolutely magnificent. Straight six this time. And again to a ball pitching outside the leg stamp. A couple of steps away and just uh, put it exactly where he wanted it. Straight for six. That's the great joy of uh, Viv Richards. He was immediately put him into the crowd for six. And again, with apparently no effort whatsoever. Overpitched. Pick of the bat, little flick of the wrists, and away she goes. Oh, that's a, a real cracker of a shot. Soared away into the far distance there, uh, right smack into the middle of the crowd. So 150 goes on the board for Viv Richards, holding down the wicket to shake him by the hand. Tremendous performance, four sixes, 15 fours, and he's scored up more than a runner ball. And that means that's gone a magnificent six, right over the top. Well, at least he deigned to really give it a full swing at the bat this time, but almost the easiest hit of the whole the whole game that's going to be the two all right is it going to be four yeah it's just beaten uh, Fowler racing round there so there we are 100 down for the last wicket 166 when they came together it's moved on now to 268 with a ball left and this massive contribution of Viv Richards now stands on 185. And as you might expect, it ended with a four. Richards back held high. One of the great innings of one day cricket. 189 not out. And he alone is responsible for putting West Indies in such a very strong position. Magnificent reception for the Antigua. And how thoroughly well he's deserved it. What a chance England must have felt they had when seven West Indies wickets were down for 102. But of course, after lunch, Richards 